we take a look at the science behind some of the combat sports at Rio this summer. The phrase going into battle is referred to often in sport, but in combat sports, that is the reality. It really is a culmination of everything. Speed, timing, flexibility, explosive power, strength. I think they're in probably one of the best shapes of any athlete because they're so well-rounded. Combat sports are unique in the sense that there are weight categories. So as well as being technically trained, you have to be nutritionally disciplined. What we try to do with our combat athletes is firstly make sure they're in a weight division that is sustainable for long-term health and performance and teach them how to manage body composition to be within you know, one or two kilos of their weight division so that that final finessing of their weight just prior to the event doesn't have to be done with um, so much extreme behaviours. Poise and balance and stability is extremely important in combat sports. The idea being we must remain on balance when we're being attacked, but also to be able to shift the body centre of gravity quickly to be able to propel a punch or a kick towards our opponent. Generating forces from the strong muscles in the leg, we push and twist the pelvis. This pushing and twisting force must then be passed across the core and across the pelvis towards the arms as we extend that into a punch. In many combat sports, your peripheral vision is going to be really important. Your central focus is going to be on the person that you're trying to attack, but you also need to be aware of any movements of that person trying to attack you from the side, so you need to keep your peripheral vision as wide as possible. We can demonstrate this by using a machine called the Vienna system. This system forces the person to keep their focus centrally as they have to move a crosshair to stay over a ball, but also they have to respond to things that are happening in their periphery. From this we can see an exact degree of visual angle um, that the athlete is able to see to. Some athletes this goes beyond 180 degrees which is absolutely amazing and this is what we are expecting to see in those higher level athletes. These athletes in combat sports it is about high intensity, it's about anaerobic strength, anaerobic power. Interval training is a good way to prepare for combat sports because there is that slow or quiet time, but then there's a quick bout of 10, 20, 30, even 40 seconds of intensity. So we have a big technique component, but of course a huge fitness component, and you must compete at the same level that you're going to be doing in your actual competition. If you never work at that level, you'll be very surprised. 